Hey guys, what you're about to watch is the build of my 2021 No Boundaries Extreme 19.3 Extreme Off-Grid Edition that I've created. I have so many upgrades in there from 800 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries to 1300 watts of solar, running everything from the microwave to the air conditioner and really is the perfect off-grid machine with a composting toilet black tanks never been used and really so many upgrades that uh, i'm just excited for you to see it and check it out you're gonna love it so without further ado let's dive right in all right now 600 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries and my grow watt 3000 watt hybrid inverter slash solar controller and all the wires and all the amazing parts for my project. Composting toilet for my new 19.3 2021 Nobo, no boundaries, RV. So first, obviously, you just need to uh, pull those tabs off revealing the two bolts that hold this toilet in and I'm going to take care of that right now and remove those. I definitely have to remove the hose in the back. You can see there is a water line that runs from the toilet down to the, I believe the gray tank. So we'll handle that. And here she is, nature's head composting toilet. The best of the best. For all you boondockers out there, off gridders. So far so good, pretty easy. Let's see, let's dig into these instructions and see how tough it is to install. Okay guys, so I sealed the old black tank with a plumbing sealer gripper thing that seals it up. I had to uh, cut the flange about three inches so to lower this bolt right here. This bolt so it's level with the floor so I can put a flush mount for the toilet. And now I have to drill a hole right in here for the tube that's going to run through. And there, there's a fan on that tube right there. I had to swap it because the fan was actually, and the plug was on this side, but you can swap it out, which is awesome. So I swapped that out. So now I just need a 12 volt power supply, which I will be procuring shortly. And now I'm gonna drill a hole. And I'm gonna drill it through here. And it will run underneath here and out the back the vent. So I'll be venting the stinky poops out the back of the RV as per the instructions. So today I'm going to be finishing up the toilet, which is done except for the tube that I have to run outside the RV, which I'm going to run right out the back on the left side, probably. Yeah, definitely uh, left side, probably. Uh, I just got to get in here. I open this up here, as you can see, I remove that panel and I'm going to remove this panel here. And then my tube is right there. I'm going to drill a inch and a half hole. And I have the hookups and the mushroom cap venter to connect. So we'll see how that goes. Giddy up. <laughs> There she is. I have to run the 12 volt power for the fan, but for all intents and purposes, this is a done deal. And I will update you when I actually put the cocoa core in and how that mixes up and give you my uh, impressions after I actually start using it. <laughs> but I'm very happy with the way this came out. No issues. The instructions were great, and I got to watch a YouTube video. That really made it very easy. 
It's really funny. All right. Hey guys, so I am full knee deep in the solar project and I removed the bed and the couch, the Murphy bed, because I had to access the existing inverter, which is right here. This is the existing 1000 watt inverter that comes with the solar package on the Novo. 19.3. So what I'm replacing it with is this GrowWatt 3000 hybrid inverter, 3000 watt inverter, 24 volt um, solar charge controller, up to 2000 watts, heavy duty stuff with a Wi-Fi hookup so I can get everything on an app. Here's one of my 100 amp hour Life Po4 lithium iron phosphate batteries, um, which I'm just using to measure out to see how much room I have. But I believe I am going to remove this this panel right here, this plywood, and underneath, in between, you know, there's an aluminum structure under there, and I might want to put the batteries there. I'm not sure yet, so I'm just kind of doing some investigation now, and uh, yeah. So it's coming together. Hey folks. Just setting everything up into its proper place. Situating it. Make sure it all fits. It'll be installing it permanently setting everything in its place and then doing the wiring and getting this thing ready to rock you are looking at 800 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries and a big shout out to my to my boy will prouse for his inspiration and his education and knowledge has really helped me to do this solar array solar battery pack transformation project make it a reality even though i've never done this before it's his tutelage and his wisdom that i'm working off of been watching his youtube videos for the past three and a half months and a uh, pretty quick study to figure out exactly what needs to be done to make this thing the most kick-ass off-grid boondocking machine on the planet It is going. This is day three, and I am, as you can see, doing a lot of wiring. I've wired up six of the eight batteries. I'm saving the other two for once I get everything running, just because I'm afraid I'm just gonna blow everything up, but <laughs> I don't think so. Um, so yeah, today is gonna be a big day because I'm actually gonna test, get to test the, uh, the charging, assist, not the charging, but the system minus the, the solar. So I'm gonna be able to see if this powers the AC through my grow watt power converter and solar charge controller. So pretty exciting. I've gone through some many challenges so far, but, uh, and I'll document those through my narration. But uh, yeah, nothing that I haven't overcome yet. So far, so good. So wish me luck today and uh, very exciting day.
and it's a little gray. It's about 28 degrees outside right now. And I've been working without power and using my extension cord from the house to keep my heat going. And this trusty ceramic heater has been kicking ass. So I recommend it. I will put it, I will put this product, it's on eBay and it is amazing. It oscillates so you can, and definitely for this size rig, 25 feet, it is more than enough to heat this thing up in the freezing cold. So just so you see here, um, I added these yesterday, which are their um, heaters for the battery. They're battery heaters for lithium. And they're, they have a stick on back and they are heating as soon as it gets below 44 degrees through a 12 volt system, it will automatically turn on and heat the batteries because lithium is a little tricky when it comes to cold, when it comes to charging below freezing, they get a little squirrely, but uh, we're gonna keep that under control. So I got two of them so far. I believe I'm gonna need a third for this. I wasn't sure, but now I'm gonna add a third for this line right here. Cause I don't know how much heat comes off the other side to heat this battery, but I believe I'm just gonna get it. It's like 30 bucks, so great. I think I got all the uh, boxes checked so far and uh, just finishing up some wiring. And I will be setting this up. I also have my, this is a 24 volt system. So I will be converting the 24 volt to the 12 volt with this Victron product, which is 70 amps max. Uh, actually, maximum load is 85 amps, but it is continuous load is, is 70 amps, and it converts, you can see, it converts on one side, it's between uh, 18 and 32 volts, which is the 24 volt system will go directly to, and then convert it over to 10 to 15 volts, which should be around 14, 13, 14 volts. So it's pretty exciting stuff. And there you go. Wish me luck, guys. It's working. It started right up. Can't believe it. Thank you, Will Prouse. You are the fucking man. And I use this 20 ohm. resistor just to make sure I didn't go blind <laughs> it's working I can't believe it this is sick can you believe this guys 600 amp hours there are lights there's power Now we just have to connect the solar and I just have to connect the AC in and I'm done here. And I'm also doing a, I did a shunt. Tomorrow is solar day. I am so psyched. I'm like a little kid right now. I cannot believe this thing is working. And I'm going to I'm going to program my Grow Watt Wi-Fi, my app, and see how that works out. And I'll get back to you. I know I left out a bunch of the stuff, but I was just in work mode, so. But I will fill you in on all the beautiful details. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 4.02 p.m. Alexa, what's the weather? Yeah, some more beautiful RV, RV, RV deliciousness, I'm sure.
Hey guys, just wanted to bring you up to speed here. We have a new connection. Got my recurve, my easy lift recurve R6, totally installed by myself, first time. And I was only a quarter of an inch difference in the front, which is really good. You have up to an inch. Very excited. Everything's coming together as it should. The solar's working great. Batteries, everything is nominal, normal. I just stacked, basically moved in. Got all my plates, all my stuff, all my foods, organized. I'm ready to rock. I'm going boondocking, baby. Nut fest right here. Nut butters. Very healthy. All right, and I'll show you something else here that I probably didn't show. So I've been using this, it works great. And I changed that three cent faucet and replaced it with a fine brush nickel faucet and Drain. And I replaced the, literally, I was walking in Home Depot looking for something and I saw the shower that comes with the Nobo stock and it literally, the whole setup was $9.99, it was $10, the whole thing. It looked like, it's like a play school. Holding it in my hand, I'm 6'3", 220 pounds. It looked like I was holding like a play school pretend like this is a shower head yeah i don't think so so i replaced it with a nice seven mode shower head and it does have the uh water saver so the the water will not come on or come out until it reaches uh temperature which is awesome and just put this in yesterday this is my happy place it certainly is excited it will be all my adventures. Hey guys, so I want to introduce you to my partner in crime, my wingman, the White Wolf Ghost. He's a white husky puppy who I got when he was eight weeks old, and he has been just incredible along my journey and travels. He's just the best dog ever. And this is my camera system that works off Wi-Fi. It's five cameras, and you can access them from anywhere from your phone. This is my electric dirt bike, which comes with the RV, goes 50 miles an hour, and has a 70 mile range. And best of all, it's powered by the sun. My white wolf, ghosty. And he would sleep for literally six, seven hours while I'm driving, incredible. Just couldn't ask for a better partner. And there he is, my boy. The RV came new with a single propane tank. I doubled it and I put gauges in. So here, uh, the TV just wasn't cutting it, so I added a 55 inch 4K LC LED TV, which, as you can see, is amazing. It hooks up to my computer. I have a wireless keyboard and I can do all my office work on this beautiful, incredible screen, which is a game changer for me. And you can play video games and just watch TV to your heart's content.
Good morning world. My first morning, my new, our ghost in my new home. This is what I woke up to today. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Right, buddy? Right, ghosty? Ghost tonight. -er. My ghost tonight. -er. Have you found paradise here? All right, crikey. All right, crikey. I'm feeling like I want to pinch myself. Amazing Nobo No Boundaries Travel Trail. It's my new home. Wonderful night out. My beautiful white wolf ghost chewing on a bone. It's about 70 degrees out right now. I'm here in St. Augustine, Florida. Life does not get much better than this. Mission accomplished. So I really hope you guys like this video of my build of the ultimate no boundaries, extreme off-grid edition. If you'd like to know anything more about what I've done, how I did it and the parts that I used, please hit me up in the comments. And just remember, life is better when you're breaking out of the matrix and living off-grid and boondocking. Take care.